Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you, just for fun, I'm going to show you how to get this bucket, which weighs, I don't know, 30 pounds or so, up in this tree. Okay, so we're going to simulate, maybe we're building a tree house or what have you, and this bucket's full of tools, and we need to get it up there without having to carry it hand over hand up this ladder. And basically what I want to show you is this little pulley system with a protraction okay and so it's a handy little tool especially for vertical lifting and it's got a little uh, progress capture right here and then if you open it up it's got a inch and a half pulley and, and the side gate shuts and if you want to drop the progress capture just slide this forward and that'll capture your progress okay and to open it you just do that and lock it into place but um, this fun little exercise but I'm gonna showcase all this equipment here and if nothing else just to give you an idea of what's out there and the different cool things you can be doing if uh, you want to invest in some quality equipment Okay, it makes your life a whole lot easier. And even though this is only going to be a you know ten or twelve foot lift, uh, you know if this were a hundred feet in the air, this would make a big difference. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb this ladder and show you how all this works. Okay, um, first thing you want to do is you want to take a rope whatever rope you're using and tie it off to your object to be lifted on the other end you can drag it up with you okay so let's do that okay so here we are so let's first thing we want to do let's stage our equipment so we don't lose anything Clove hitch so we don't lose it okay so if I want my bucket right here I have to have a higher object to sling off of which is going to be this branch right here just to remember that anytime you need to raise something you have got to anchor off of something higher because it's always going to be lower okay so what we'll do is create an anchor right here Okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and raise this. Uh, the first item I want to showcase is going to be the protraction. So we don't lose our rope let's go ahead and drop our load progress capture okay so if I pull down what I have now is basically a one-to-one -one, okay I've got a change of direction pulley and I want to convert this into a three to one um, now I could lift this if I went down to my ladder and just pulled but it, it, that would work um, but we can make this a whole lot easier okay so how do we do that let's look at the toys we have here I'm gonna need another pulley to make a three to one put him there for now and I need a rope grab which is going to be my 
rescue center, okay? Now, uh, this is a pretty nifty device. The only difficulty is, is loading this cam on and off. And if you look in here, hopefully you can see that, there's a little notch in here. Just remember how that notch goes when you load it, okay? And same thing when you unload it, okay? Now it's easy to do right here because um, but when you make this thing upside down, you remember you gotta do it. The complete reversal of that. Okay? Now, I don't wanna lose this. So I'm gonna hang it there for now. I wanna load my pulley first. Okay, so I'm gonna open my side gate. Okay, so here's my pulley. I'm gonna load it. Okay, let's shed that. And again, I don't want to lose. If I drop this, it's gone. Okay, so I'm just going to clip it there for the moment. Come back to my rescue sender. And I'm going to step down this ladder one wrong. And here's my load strand. I want to load that on there. Okay. Okay, now here's the if I drop this, it's going straight to the ground. Okay, and this is why you want to load your pulley first. You want to clip that while you got both hands occupied. Okay, and then grab your tail. And right now you have created a three to one. Okay, come back up here. Now the beauty of this is, is if I let go on pressure here, that rescue center will go down. Okay, just don't get ahead of yourself because uh, you can go down too too far. Okay, so if I want to raise this, um, I can just lift straight up. Okay, and then it's capturing right here. Okay, now that's fairly easy because that's only about 30 pounds. Now, if I want to make this even easier. I can put a change in direction pulley in here. And this is where this little guy here comes in real handy. This is called a roll clip, okay? And you can plug it in that becket right there and then clip it in. Okay, what this does, it gives me a change of direction just so I can pull straight down, set up. Makes life a whole lot easier. Okay, so that's one use of that becket. Now, to get even more efficient with it, you can take a, another single pulley and you can put it up even higher, as high as you can go. Okay, so I'm gonna use this anchor up here. Okay, so I'm gonna unclip this and I'm gonna raise it up another, you know, eight inches or so. And you wouldn't think that eight inches would make a big difference, but it does, okay? And now I can, even easier okay so that's a three to one now I'm gonna take this roll clip out just want to showcase that these roll clips are really handy I'm gonna put that back over there now um, we're gonna simulate well I'm not gonna simulate we're gonna do it um, if a three to one is not enough mechanical advantage we can convert this to a five to one really easily okay so all you have to do and the most important thing to remember is uh, if you unclip this rescue center it's gone okay so just go ahead and take it off just like that okay and then we can just take it off completely and then we'll just secure it out of our way for the moment, okay? Now, if I wanna convert this to a five to one, all I have to do is take this single that I had right here, okay, and I wanna take a bite with it, and I wanna put that single up here in this becket of the protraction, okay? And then I can take a double pulley right here 
Now, look at my thumb. I've got two loops, right? Open these side plates up. And the hardest part of all this is not dropping something. Okay, orient your pulley the right way. Okay, now what I can do is make sure I got this oriented the right way. And I rotate. Okay. Is I can load my two loops here. All right, so what I've done now is I've made a five to one, okay? And what I need to do now is that I can hang, it's not going anywhere. I can grab my rope grab, find my load strand, orient my device correctly, and load that strand again. There we go. Okay, now I can load that. And I have converted this into a 5 to 1. Okay. So I'm going to lower that a fair distance. Okay, here's my tail, so I'm running out of room here. Okay, so this is just a, uh, a 5 to 1 that we converted from a three to one. And the only reason we're able to do that is because I had a double pulley and I've got a Beckett right here. Um, and then uh, and then I got another change of direction pulley up here just to make it easier to pull down, okay? So, all right, so let's raise it up. We're gonna raise this load. Okay, we can reset it. Keep raising it. And the beauty of this is it's completely under control the entire time. Okay, now we've collapsed our two pulleys together. But I want this a little higher, okay? So the easiest way to do that is simply unclip right here. That's not going anywhere. It's going to stay where it's at. And then we can go ahead and clip this handle down here. And then we can just keep pulling up. Okay, and then, and this is a good example of why you need a higher anchor, okay? See, I've lost almost four feet here, okay? But if I'm working here, that's my original intention. Whatever I need is right here. Okay? All right, well, Thought I'd do a little fun little exercise. I really wanted to showcase this protraction. Uh, that's a handy little device, especially if you're doing something like this. Um, and uh, it's easily convertible from a three to one to a five to one. So um, it's a good little device. And um, I just want to showcase some of these toys you can buy. Um, and this is a good set of pulleys. And uh, you can do all kinds of things. Okay. Hope this helps. I'll see you in the next one.